I think when most officers hear restorative justice, they think it's some sort of get out of jail free card. It's some sort of, you know, I've heard the term hug a thug, you know, is it some sort of touchy feely type of, of situation. Uh, but in my experience, it's, it's completely different than that. Restorative justice offers a, a unique approach to say, you know what, here, let's put you in front of, a, in front of your victim, face to face, and let's repair the harm on a more personal level. And it makes a tremendous difference for the offender as well as for the victim. So. We started with our first case uh, before we <laughs> before we were ready, uh, and uh, that was a, a quite a um, uh, a discussion. Is we didn't even have the the structure put together, but um, we just asked ourselves: Do we have people that understand what restorative justice is? Yes. Do we have a victim that wants to uh, avail themselves of this type of um, of a, a process and wants to stay out of the court system? Yes. Um, and we have people who care that will support the whole thing. Yes, all right, let's, let's give it a shot. And one by one, we measured success by how the officers uh, were um, buying into the program. Out in the community, um, success was, was very tangible. It was, it was something you could touch and feel. Uh, victims were, were, um, were thanking us, were uh, telling us that they've, um, uh, they've, they've been involved in the system before and this is one of the more profound things that they've done. Offenders were, were telling us that this had a very, a very big impact. They've never had to sit across from someone and answer the question of why you did this and listen to the response of, you need to know what this did, how this impacted for me. When you're dealing with an offender, this provides accountability. They have to sit in a room and face their victims. You know, the court system gets bogged down with heavy caseloads, so stuff gets lost in the shuffle, and including that victim as well as that offender. So now all of a sudden, they're, they're just become a number at the court here. The idea here is have, have a greater impact, and that's what the program offers, is, is that uh, the agreement items are specific to that um, individual as well as what the victims are looking for, and that's, that's the main difference. If you're looking to minimize the number of people that are going into the criminal justice system, if, you, if you're looking to minimize recidivism rates, if you're looking to maximize um, uh, the public's perception of how the criminal justice system uh, works, if you're looking to maximize the, the offender's perception of how the, the system works, this is the answer. This is the most profound process I've been involved in in, in my career. I'm telling you that uh, it was the answer we were looking for, and I think it can be the answer that you're looking for also.